Today in our 2015 Nissan Murano, we're going to review and install the Kurt Custom Fit 4-Pole Trailer Connector, part number C56267. Before we install it, let's go ahead and review our trailer wiring. Open up the rear hatch and spare tire cover. Take our 4-flat trailer connector wiring out, running it out over the vehicle threshold. However, stay away from the latch as pinching it off in the latch can harm the wire. But the threshold seal is thick enough that it won't harm the wire. Then we'll close the rear hatch on the wiring. Once it's closed, I'll pull out the wire necessary so we can run it down to our hitch or accessory. Now once we're finished with our four flat trailer connector, we'll simply open up the rear hatch roll up our wiring and store it with the spare tire inside the vehicle and out of any inclement weather. This is a standard four flat trailer connector. It's applicable in most situations and will provide the vehicle's running light, turn signal and brake signals from the vehicle to the trailer so it duplicates or mirrors what the vehicle is doing. Now here's what our custom fit wiring harness is going to look like right out of the package. Connecting to the driver's side taillight wiring circuit will be the yellow, red, and brown wire connector. Here we're going to pick up power from the manufacturer's 12 volt supply. Our white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal is our ground. Then on the passenger side we're going to have a green wire connector. Going out to our trailer accessory it's going to be our four flat trailer connector. Tying it all together will be the black converter box that transfers the signal from the vehicle to our four flat connector. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install it. Now to begin our install we need to remove the vehicle's floor coverings over the spare tire and cargo area. We'll start here with the rear cargo mat. Just pull that out and set it aside. Center section here will raise up. We can take the manufacturer's little hook here and just secure that out of the way. And we'll move to the corners. We can remove the top or covering to expose the storage containers underneath. Next we're going to go ahead and remove the storage compartments here. On the passenger side we'll need to remove some of the spare tire tools in order to get to the fasteners necessary. Then at the bottom there are two groove fasteners securing it. Once we pull those two fasteners out, we can go ahead and remove the storage compartment. Now we'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Underneath the storage container is the manufacturer's connector where we'll pull our 12 volt power supply from. We'll go ahead and use our utility knife and just cut the tape so we can free the connector. Also here on the driver's side is going to be the manufacturer's taillight wiring harness. This is a larger white connector and it's got some black tape securing it to the wiring harness. We'll go ahead and cut the black tape so we can free it. And then we need to separate the two connectors. To separate the two connectors, we'll press on the locking tab and just simply pull them apart. We're now ready to go ahead and bring in our custom fit wiring harness. Our Kurt wiring harness T connector will match the manufacturer's connectors and we can plug directly into the manufacturer's wiring harness. Our red wire here with the pre-installed fuse holder will be the wire we connect to the 12 volt power supply. Next we'll take the green wire connector and route it over to the passenger side. As we route it, we're just going to plan on keeping it underneath the rear threshold where it will be safe and secure. Once we move over to the passenger side, 
We'll do the same process of locating the taillight wiring connector, cutting it free and separating the two connectors. We can then take the green wire connector, we just route it over and plug it into the manufacturer's wiring harness. Now with my connection made, we'll go ahead and use the zip ties provided to secure the wiring as necessary, working our way back over to the driver's side. Now after I secure the wiring, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess from the zip tie and clean up my install look. Next, we're going to mount the converter box. Now to mount our converter box, we're going to use the two-way adhesive supplied with our install kit. Remove one side of the adhesive and attach it to the box and then the other side and attach it to the vehicle. Now when attaching it to the vehicle we're looking for a clean flat surface preferably sheet metal. Here below the driver's side taillight assembly is a perfect location. We'll firmly press it into place to get a good cohesive connection. Next we'll take the white wire with our pre-attached ring terminal and secure it to the body of the vehicle to create the ground for our converter box. We'll use a self-tapping screw supplied with our install kit to secure the ring terminal. Now when locating a spot to ground our ring terminal and put our self-tapping screw in, I'm looking for an area where the sheet metal doubles up for a good secured connection point. Now our ring terminal is secured. Now with all our connections made, we need to install the fuse into the fuse holder. This is an inline fuse holder and protects our converter box. We'll use a 10 amp fuse provided with our install kit. Go ahead and put the fuse into the fuse holder, cap on the fuse holder. We can then go ahead and secure the excess wiring using the zip ties provided as needed. Cut off the excess from our zip tie, and we're ready to reinstall our interior trim components. Next we're going to move to the engine compartment. Here next to the battery is the manufacturer's fuse box. We'll open the fuse box by pressing on the lid lock and lift it up and out of the way. If we turn the lid over, we can see the markings that indicate the fuse pin locations. Here in the lower right hand corner is indicated for towing. And then when we match that up to the fuse panel, we can see that it's got a 30 amp fuse already installed. If it did not have the 30 amp fuse installed, we would put in the 10 amp fuse provided with our install kit. Next we'll go ahead and test our new four pole trailer connector. We can pull it out from underneath the rear storage compartment, remove the cap, and using our test light, we'll put the ground clamp of our test light on the white wire terminal. Then the brown wire terminal, which is next to the white wire, is gonna be the running light circuit. The yellow wire terminal will be the driver's side turn signal and brake. Then the green wire terminal will be the passenger side turn signal and brake. Now we know our four flat trailer connector works, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for our review and install of the Kurt Custom Fit Trailer Wiring Harness with four pole trailer connector, part number C56267 on our 2015 Nissan Murano.